Q&A time. My hair is a mess. Now I see all the comments saying I look weird without a headband. What's going on, guys? My name is Jack. You can call me I Shinobi. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we have a Q&A. Now, you guys have been asking for a Q&A for a while, so I asked my fine folk over on Patreon to ask, you know, questions about everything regarding the channel, anime, my life, so you can get to know me a little bit better because, I mean, we're at like 32,000 subscribers and I haven't done one of these before, so I figured we should. Again, I only locked this down to like Patreon subs, so it's like a, it's like a more of a benefit for being a patron and i didn't get to all of the questions because there were like a lot of them so i narrowed it down to a certain amount i think we have like 20 to 30 or something but maybe in the future we'll do like a live stream q a where you can just ask questions freely but i mean i do stream once a week anyway so i mean if you do want to ask a question there's a pretty good chance i will answer it in a live stream speaking of which the next one is oh today yeah it's in like two hours after i post this all right so honestly let's just get started marley wilson says what anime do you think you will react to next now, this is probably like the most asked question i get because i mean I, this is like what i started my channel on is anime reactions now, if i'm being 100 honest with you i have an idea in mind but it's not it's set in stone yet after i finish my shippuden reactions i don't want to just solely focus on reaction series i want to do like tier lists theory videos all sorts of breakdowns and stuff talk to you guys about current stuff because i mean shippuden is quite old especially for you guys because you guys have seen it all before at least the most of you have so i'd like to really get into the anime community if you know what i mean but for now the most probable one is attack on titan and although i'm already like 15 episodes into the first season of that i would get started like around there on my reaction series and this is for two reasons one because i'm already really enjoying the series a lot and two because i know the last season of that show comes out this fall so i think it'd be really good traction to get into that community as well but again that's not set in stone it's just an idea alex vegas says what do you feel about all the hate that sakura gets is it justified in your opinion oh man either way i answer this i'm gonna piss some people off no i don't think it's justified i think a lot of the hate is kind of just like thrown as like a scapegoat but i mean also sakura kind of gets the short end of the stick in terms of writing like her character makes a lot of wrong decisions but also it's a shonen i mean the show's not gonna focus on her the main show's main focus is on naruto and sasuke and a lot of people compare that to her power levels as her being useless but i mean she of course she's not gonna reach the levels of naruto and sasuke because i mean they're, they're the main focus of the show and also she learns medical ninjutsu which isn't as flashy steven and parker says have you watched other popular anime series like op for example what are you planning to watch after naruto's done which i already answered yeah, so I started watching anime around six months ago. My very first one was My Hero Academia, which really got me into it. I really, I, I really wasn't a fan of like anime, like as an outsider before that. But no, I haven't watched One Piece before, but I have watched One Punch Man and a couple other smaller ones. Like I've watched Kake Guri, I've watched Kamisama Kiss, which is super weeby in my opinion. But I mean, honestly, guilty pleasure. I loved it a lot. And a couple others. I'll link my anime list down below. I keep it pretty updated. Maram said, will you react to the Naruto movies after finishing the main story? story no because that's a little treading on fair use i'm probably gonna watch them and make reviews on them and give my first thoughts on them because i know a lot of you guys want to know my thoughts on the movies so that's probably how i would do it kind of similar to the mha movie review that i did but talk actually about to, about spoilers casey scott says what was the first comment you read that really made you feel good slash meant a lot to you i don't think i have a specific one but i think a lot of people really don't take for granted how much comments mean to youtubers i mean it can really change your day based on if you read a, a positive comment a hate comment I mean, you can read like a thousand positive comments and then come across one hate comment and it's just like it, it feels much more powerful than those and unfortunately that's just how it goes so yeah i'd just like to take this opportunity to thank all of you guys for dropping comments like positive comments each and every day alan said out of all the female characters in naruto which one would you marry okay, i think uh if you're a long time viewer of the channel i, th I think you have a pretty solid idea marcus chandler said why did you decide to start making your shippuden reactions now i start i started kind of coming up with the idea uh, around the end of me watching original naruto throughout watching original naruto i started to get more into the anime community especially on youtube and then i found reaction channels on like animes and stuff and i saw a few people making reactions to original naruto and i saw a couple doing shippuden reactions i was like wow that'd be kind of sick actually to like experience it for the first time on camera and stuff be able to talk with the community about it and i was at the same time i was feeling kind of burnt out with my other channel that i was just doing gaming stuff on like mostly call of duty so yeah i really just wanted that camaraderie of my experience in the first time in anime and all the experience i had making my other channel and combine the two so paradox says what has been your favorite naruto arc now is this including original and shippuden i think in original it's the chunin exams because i mean you get to so like know so much of the students and i mean you have the rock lee versus gara fight but in shippuden i don't know my favorite arc actually five kage summit was actually really solid but so was the pain and 
Invasion. Unpopular opinion, but so far I think the Five Kage Summit is my favorite arc. Although it's not as flashy as the Pain Invasion. I mean, the Pain, the Naruto versus Pain fight is my favorite fight in Naruto so far, aside from Jiraiya versus Pain. Five Kage Summit just it, getting all the characters' interactions is just I, like it means a lot more to me. Like it develops the storyline in such a way that the characters mean more to you. I don't know. I'd probably have to go back and review it, but my opinion may change on that. Rolanda says, "What does your family think of your YouTube success?" Colon three. My family's actually really supportive. They're they're probably my biggest cheerleaders. Now, while they don't understand most of it half the time, they still support me and all that. So, I mean, I'm very grateful and very blessed. Taj says, do you think Naruto would have had a more profound impact on you as a person if you saw it when you were a kid? I actually thought about this because Naruto has some pretty heavy themes and I think anyone that watches it could get a lesson out of it. But yeah, for sure. I think if I had seen it when I was a kid, I would have, I, I mean, would have had maybe a different mindset. I think it does instill some pretty solid values for kids that do watch it. Vicky said, hey, I love your reactions to following since the start and willing to support you until the very end. I hope you're doing okay. And yeah, about the question when will you watch haikyuu i think i think that's how you say it also if you had to change one thing from naruto what would it be it can be any scene character death or anything feel free to answer it in your own way don't know when i'm watching haikyuu i really couldn't tell you i know my discord basically is obsessed with it and if i ever say anything bad about it i'll probably be like hunted down and brutally murdered so yeah guys if i ever say anything bad about haikyuu and my channel just up and go like disappears you know where to find them my discord server and one thing i had to change about naruto man that's tough honestly i think the only only thing I would like more is just more involvement with the rest of the groups in Naruto's class. Like, yeah, we got Shikamaru Shippuden where we got a ton of development from him, which was awesome. But I mean, we're like 260 episodes deep into Shippuden and like Neji's group has barely gotten any time aside from the clone fights, really. And that's why I like the tuning exams so much in original Naruto is because we got all those interactions between all the students. And it was just, I, I don't know. I really liked that a lot. But either way, I still love the show a lot. I, I would just like more of that, honestly. Hadley Greenfield said, what moment did you realize you became a true anime fan? I think if I had picked one moment, moment and really quickly if you haven't watched my hero academia and you don't want spoilers or anything that i'm going to talk about it here in a second i think if i had to pick one moment it would probably be all might versus nomu that fight was so intense and it was really like the climax the first really climax in my hero academia but just like the passion and the voices and the animation i was like breath i was like, I, like my breath was taken away watching that if you've seen my hero academia you know what i'm talking about but i think that was really the moment i was like wow this is this is pretty this is pretty awesome nikki pierre says can you list some of your favorite anime live action shows and books of all time all right let me get out a, a pen and paper i gotta write these down all right so anime i've pretty much already talked about it like naruto mha one punch man i like a lot but i've also I haven't seen that many so i couldn't really I, I mean i don't really have a wide range to choose from as far as live action shows the walking dead i used to be into i kind of fell off at season 10 uh the office by far my favorite show out of anyone like in terms of that that isn't anime is how i met your mother the office is pretty close and so is parks and rec as far as books go i don't want to pretend like i read it a ton but i've watched i've read through the entire harry potter series when i was in middle and high school and i really enjoyed that a lot ryan says besides ninja storm and persona royal are you planning on playing any other games in the future maybe more live streams love the content by the way keep it up my guy i appreciate it ryan oh yeah for sure i, I definitely do want to want to do more gaming stuff persona is gonna take a long time like at least month on end ninja storm 3 we won't be able to play for a couple more months because i gotta catch up in the show but yeah at this point i'm, I'm basically just doing live streams and videos on persona royale in terms of aside from reactions but i'm definitely taking recommendations from you guys i mean i do a lot of gaming over my twitch channel twitch.tv slash jack the bus if you want to follow over there and i've been a huge call of duty fan csgo valorant I do, I do stuff over there all the time and i mean if i ever post any of that it'll probably be on my other channel but for i i want to kind of keep it in the same theme of like anime style stuff so yeah i'm always open for recommendations for that baelish in action says one how useless is sakura two will you react to episode 241 three are you team akatsuki or leave shinobi one how useless is sakura she's not that useless she literally saved Kangaro's life and she killed a Kotsky member even though she had Grandma Chio's help she still killed one two we react to episode 241 maybe I don't know it's a filler episode I just I, I hate to use like a day where we're progressing through the canon story and just go back to that one but maybe for Patreon at least in the future and three can I be both team Akatsuki and Leaf Shinobi because I mean I, I'm wearing a I'm not wearing an Akatsuki shirt but I, I also love the good guys so it's it's conflicting Sai says when do you plan on finishing Shippuden now I did the math I believe and if I did one episode episode every single day uh it would be in like october but i mean of course we're gonna have double episodes some days i'm gonna have off some days so i'd assume like four to five months down the line i'm not really in a rush because i'm really enjoying it judy says who is your favorite character in naruto i feel like that's really hard because i mean just like so many characters have really great qualities so i'll give you a couple i like sai a lot by far best character development in the show so far aside from like naruto very underrated character by the way guy sensei even though we haven't gotten to see him too much i just love him kakashi i feel like is kind of a given i like neji a lot like i said
said, I, I really wish Neji would get more screen time. Hinata, of course, best girl. And yeah, I mean, that's five or so. I love a lot of characters. I liked Rock Lee a lot in the original Naruto, but he doesn't get much screen time in Shippuden. Gara is cool too. I mean, whenever I think about it, I just love all the characters for different reasons, you know? And Naruto's mom and Minato. I mean, there's way too many. Madara's so sick. Itachi's so cool. I did, there's too many to pick. If I ever did a tier list of characters, that'd be tough. Joe says, what would be your chakra nature? Also, if you were combined your chakra nature with the change of chakra form to create a unique jutsu, what would it look like? I think it'd be really cool to have lightning and water work together. Honestly, if I had to pick two, I think I would pick lightning and water. Just because there's so many combinations you could do with those in terms of using them together. But I really don't know because I feel like I haven't, I, I've, I've seen a good amount, but I don't know if I've seen enough to where I could really decide that, you know? Ask me again, like a couple months down the line when I've gotten more exposure to a lot of fights, because I hear there's a lot of fights in the second half of Shippuden. I may be able to answer that a bit better down the line. But yeah, for now, water and lightning. Lars says, have you watched anime before? And if so, do you prefer sub or dub? I know you've explained why you use sub in your videos. So I wonder about your personal preference. Well, I use dub in my videos. He has to be very careful about Naruto openings and episode titles for now. Some of them include major spoilers. Actually, the episode titles might be even worse than the openings. As far as titles go, I actually don't see the title before I watch the episode. And do I prefer sub or dub? That's a very interesting question. I actually like both. Like One Punch Man, I cannot watch the dub for One Punch Man. It's just, it's horrendous to me. And I can understand why people like sub more, especially for like the emotion and voices and stuff. But I feel like it's all up to personal preference. Honestly, if I could go back in time and restart Naruto Shippuden, I would probably do it in sub. But I had started in the dub just because I had grown so attached to the characters' voices in OG Naruto. But yeah, honestly, I, I prefer both, I guess, that, if that's an answer. <laughs> Nertilu says, have you seen Mob Psycho 100? It's anime creator of One Punch Man with great plot, music, and characters. You will love it. So you have an idea to start a new show. Uh, No, I have not seen Mob Psycho 100, but I have heard a lot of good stuff about it. I know it's from the people that did One Punch Man. But uh, yeah, like I said, I have a long list of stuff that I, I'm thinking of starting next, but I haven't decided on. Karudir says, what were the best scene and the saddest scene in your opinion? Saddest scene for me so far. No, I, I could rank them. By far the saddest I've been at watching Naruto is actually seeing Zabuza and Haku die because that was when I really realized how deep the show was. Right below that would be Kushina and Minato's death, like a couple episode reactions ago, which, oh my gosh, I was so depressed after that. And I think right below that would be Jiraiya's death whenever he, like, as he's floating down and monologuing was the saddest. Best scene would also have to be Jiraiya's fight with Pain so far for me. Like I said, his realization right before he died of, of, of like, him, him having a Shinobi death and actually leading a good life. That monologue and also size kind of wrapping up of his in initial development. Whenever he made the painting titled it Comrade, oh my gosh, my heart, dude. That was whenever Sai became one of my favorite characters. Israel said a favorite tailed beast. So far, I mean, are we talking about like tailed beasts and their Jinchuriki? Because if so, then it's definitely Killer B. I feel like I can't really include the nine tailed fox because I mean, it, it's 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 like that's like saying Naruto is your favorite character, Naruto, you know? Either the one tail from Gara or the eight tails for sure. Kevin says, as for Shippuden, how much do you really enjoy it compared to Naruto? Would you like more Naruto fights, storyline, friendship, etc.? I definitely like Shippuden a lot more than original Naruto. It feels like the stakes are much higher, and I mean, I, I guess they are. I think the only thing I really liked about original Naruto more, it felt more lighthearted, like it was more just you know, friends hanging out, I guess. But again, that comes with less stakes. But yeah, the only thing that really comes to mind is you get to see more of the class. Like I said, is one thing I would change about Shippuden in original Naruto. You get to see more interactions with Neji, Choji, all of them, especially like in the tuning exams. So I guess the friendship part of original Naruto is what I like more, but I definitely do prefer Shippuden. Roji says, do you still got that Leda hoodie? Wow, I'm surprised you remember that. Hang on, let me see. I do, I do still have the Leda hoodie. All right, if you know what this is from and you comment it down below you're my favorite person ever this is this is old this is like from like six or seven years ago Dempsey says, what are your college plans slash what do you want to do as your career? Now, as far as college plans, I actually already have my associates in cybersecurity and that's what I was initially going for, as, at least in terms of like a job field. But for now, I'm actually getting my bachelor's in media arts. I know that's kind of like a giant jump, but uh, I mostly realized I wasn't as interested in cybersecurity as I previously thought, but I did want a foundation in it and finish my degree in it. So I finished my associates in that and then went over to media arts. As far as that goes, I mean, I, you can do a lot with it in terms of just the creation world. My end goal will always be just a full-time content creator, especially for YouTube. But I mean, you always have to kind of have backup plans and whatnot. So as far as a career goes with that, I mean, anything in the entertainment industry, as far as broadcasting and stuff goes, is anything I can do with that. And that's the plan for now, unless the YouTube channel takes off even more. Which I mean, I'm very grateful to you guys for how much success it's seen already. Just keep on being awesome. Alex says, after watching Naruto, did it teach you anything in life? Oh, for sure, for sure. Like that earlier question said, like if I had watched it as a kid, would have impacted me anyway, indefinitely. I think the whole lesson of 
about you know not continuing a cycle of pain I, as, as like reaching as it is in terms of like the relation to the real world it's still very like it, it's very cemented in reality i think always recognizing your position in life and recognizing how you like how you affect others with your own actions is very important so yeah i think naruto in and if anything has taught me you know self-evaluation is very important at least in terms of you know your personal life how you talk to other people how you carry yourself that's the main one i mean there could be like a million other things like underlying thing this has taught me but i think that's the main one that i keep in my mind moo xn32 says what's your opinion on pain's point of view on justice in comparison to the one naruto had at the start of their fight arc well pain's point of view on justice um i mean uh, originally was there's no end to the cycle of pain like people are always going to get hurt and it basically just circles around and then naruto's was carrying on jiraiya's which was peace so i think pain had a very realistic view on the world which i mean it's true like that 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 cycle will still go around and around forever but it's up to people individually to live their best life and try to like not continue that as much as possible and while like i said it's not possible to ever get rid of that cycle of hate and whatnot it is possible to lessen it as much as possible and that's what naruto is doing and i mean he's chasing for an end to it all which is the best you can do losty said how old are you where do you live any plans for future career so i already answered the career one how old am i i'm 20 i actually turned 21 next month and i live right by dallas texas born and raised baby Kamadashi says what motivated you to become a youtuber i've actually been a youtuber since october of 2016 i believe i think that was the first video on my old channel and really just creating videos i've been making videos like home videos you know like little skits and stuff since i was 12 or 13. i had always been making videos and I, I really i wanted to convince my mom when i was like 12 or 13 i was like please let me upload to youtube like if we make one go viral i'm gonna be famous like i said i made little home videos like i made like minecraft in real life and stuff like that i made like a knockoff dr phil show it was wild i hope i can find those one day but yeah honestly just sharing my creativity sharing my opinions on things with people it's always been an interest of mine and just expressing myself creatively through video editing is so fun Oren says do you ever get tired slash frustrated when making any videos yes 100 burnout is real I mean, if you spend like eight hours nine hours a day every single day editing videos recording videos you're gonna reach a point where you're just exhausted of it and that's what that comes with anything if you do anything for that long an experience span of time you're gonna get sick of it that's why like balance in life is really important balancing spending time with family friends relationships alongside hobbies and content creation jobs school it's all it's all you have to balance it very effectively i mean you're never gonna find a perfect balance between them all but the best you can do is try so for sure whenever i put too much time into it or i i lose sight of what i'm really doing i definitely get frustrated but man when you hit that creative stride and you're having fun with it the sky's the limit basically pure t savage says hey buddy i have a youtube channel i need some advice i'm having trouble getting traction for you what did you do personally that beat the algorithm start attraction on your channel by the way your videos get me through the day when i'm traveling for work or working on a 200 case walmart order my goodness shameless plug drink cheer wine thanks for what you do love the content for sure this is a question i get a lot um especially in terms of getting traction because i got traction on this channel even quicker than i had anticipated i mean looking back when i started this channel i expected right now for me to be in like a place of like 2,000, 3,000 subscribers but as soon as i started it really just took off and i think it was really timing for me especially i mean i hopped in when a lot of other people did I, as far as i know in terms of making naruto reactions shippuden reactions anime reactions in general but i also think a lot of my prior experience with my old channel came into play and i knew you know like stuff to do with thumbnails tags titles all that good stuff i already had pretty good experience with editing but honestly the number one tip i always give people that want to start youtube channels is consistency you're gonna have a lot more people subscribing to your channel if they look at your channel they're like oh he posts this often now the balance you have to find is creating good content with consistency like you can't just put up a video just to put a video up you're gonna want to put up a video that you can enjoy and your viewers can enjoy so yeah just find a rhythm that you can get into that doesn't stress you out too much in terms of making videos and uh that's the best you can do also make content you want to create don't make content that like gets numbers or anything like if i didn't enjoy reactions anymore i wouldn't be doing it anymore Ju Kang, i'm so sorry if i mispronounced that was your favorite ice cream i think if i just had to say like from a brand bluebell cookie two-step is my favorite ice cream i'm a pretty basic guy i like cookies and cream a lot mythic hydrated said what are your top fave fiber to cost oh no this is gonna be tough okay Okay, and no, I'm not gonna even gonna do a wait. Let me write them all down because I don't want to do a particular order. Okay, Itachi, Pain, Kakazu, Toby, and then for the last one, I couldn't really decide between Hidon or Kisame, but I'm kind of leaning more towards Kisame. Again, that's in no particular order, and I still love the other Akatsuki members a lot, but those are the five that I like the most. Mitchell says, which Naruto characters do you want to see get together? Honestly, like I, like I said, if you know me, there's one particular group I've been waiting on. Adelaide says, as I know Bleach will be continuing as an anime, would you watch it? Yeah. 
yeah, Bleach is also on my list, but again, I really have no idea as far as like when it'll come. I know they're finally continuing it though, so that's pretty cool for Bleach fans. And uh, yeah, guys, that's going to be it for my very first Q and A. I hope I didn't miss out on too many questions you guys had. Again, if if you want to ask me more questions, feel free to stop by the live stream today and any other live stream. I try to answer them as best as possible, but I know you're always gonna have new ones, and I'll try to do these more in the future. Thank you guys for all the support on the channel lately. I mean, I can't ever thank you guys enough because it's always growing rapidly. Whether we're in a really awesome Naruto part or not, it's still you guys still show a ton of support for the channel, so I thank you for that. Again, join the Discord if you haven't already. It's a good place to talk to the community when we're not even in the comments or anything. Although they do have a high Q addiction, so I'd be careful. And uh, yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day as per usual, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.